So today I show you the build of the bash bar for the E90 as well as talk about the bumper attachment and a few other points. So uh, hope you enjoy and uh, stay tuned for more.
so before I pull this off, um, I wanted to kind of go through some of the high points of the bash bar build. So number one, it had to, it had to hold an oil cooler. So these engines are notorious for getting hot. I have this massive oil cooler, and originally I wanted to put it in the middle of the car, but because I didn't want to block the, either the radiator or the intercooler, uh, I went ahead and said, said hey, I'm just going to uh, side mount it one more time, just like the factory had. Uh, so here it is. I've got some fittings and lines coming and everything else tied to the, the actual motor. But, you know, kind of the concept here is it sits down pretty tight. We've got a pretty heavy bar sitting on the outside to give uh, some protection. It does get air through the bumper, uh, which is also kind of nice. And I'll show you that here in a second. Likewise, it uses the factory inner fender well with the factory vent that was for the original factory oil cooler. You can see it's, you know, maybe a third the size. Um, I made these real quick standoffs that have some uh, threaded threaded bolts on the back so you can see that and so that was able to kind of house the uh, the inner fender liner in the OEM location so I'm pretty excited about this I think it's in a fairly safe location I still have plenty of room back here is my fan which I intend to make a fan mount I don't know if you guys can see that anyway there'll be a small fan on the back side of that that I can put on for auxiliary use if I need it um, yeah, and then just kind of triangulated everything for either strength or, you know, I think this bar here is just maybe a little bit for aesthetic reasons. If you notice too, this is a bumper mount. I'm going to show you guys how that mounts here very quickly. And then this side right here, I just replicated everything all over again. So uh, I've got some ideas on things to put in this vicinity from the engine bay, but uh, we'll wait to hold up out on those a little bit later. So anyway, just kind of a high level overview of the bash bar itself. Um, every single bend is completely custom. There's no strain angles in this thing whatsoever. Uh, very complicated and it took me way too long. But I think it came out pretty cool looking and uh, definitely something a little bit unique in the area. So yeah, let me show you how the bumper goes on. Okay, the bumper of choice, if you've seen it before, is a eBay special M3 replica bumper uh, made of like ABS plastic. And then along with the theme, I went ahead and bought some $12 eBay arrow catches and some eBay $15 grill. <laughs> so uh, not a lot of money tied up in any of this right here, but I think the results are coming out uh, to be totally worth it. Um, so anyway, the, the M3 has a little bit bigger intake. And so let me show you exactly how that goes on. So I set this up like this. Um, eventually I'll have this inner fender, well, uh, this inner fender liner trimmed. It goes into this guy right here. So this is my arrow catch. Snaps right into place. And then over here, same thing, just like that. So uh, now the bumper's on there. It's it's really solid actually. The front uh, bar protrudes through the, the tongue, so to speak, of uh, the bash bar, protrudes through the uh, the intake of the bumper. Um, I'm still gonna go back through here and trim all this inner plastic and just make it so it can just, you know, uh, scoop up as much air as possible. And I'm gonna put a stainless steel mesh screen around this, along with, you know, vents to track uh, the air right into the oil cooler once it gets to its final install location. So anyway, um, from a bash bar perspective, a bumper mount perspective, that's look, that looks like what, you know, is gonna be the final answer. I do have some modifications to make. I've got to fix this here. Again, I'm fighting the inner fender liner a little bit. And then over here, do the same thing. I'll pull it up and mount it very quickly. So anyway, just a quick overview of the bumper and uh, I'll pull it off here in a second to show you how easy it is to remove. Let me show you how it releases. So just got these little arrow catches right here, pulls up and then the whole thing just releases off just like that. So nice, easy fitment. Um, again, pretty impressed. The, the bars and everything all fit inside the, the wheel, the bumper um, cover and the wheel wells and all that good stuff. So anyway, I think it's gonna work out pretty good. So I'm gonna take the bash bar off now and just uh, do the final weld out on all the different seams and joints and things like that. <clears throat> Get it back on here and then finish off the install of the driver's side inner fender as well as some maybe little brackets and things like that for uh, some components in the engine bay. Cool.